Hey hey everyone I am Uttam Singh and this is a video and basically a crash course on EVM that is Ethereum virtual machine right so in this uh, course I will tell you everything about EVM Ethereum virtual machine what it is how it works and everything and trust me after you watch this video you will not have to read any other article or you, or you will don't have to watch any other video of how evm works i will also go deep inside how you know byte code is get compiled and how is evm running and how you know your your code gets into the evm and how it runs it executes what happens right i will discuss each and everything about the evm so let's not waste more of our time and let's get started and see about what is the agenda of this course but before getting started if you are an expert do leave your feedback in the comment section if you you know you can watch the video if you're an expert if i left anything or if there is something that i can improve so do leave your feedback in the comment section and uh, do subscribe to the channel right now because this is just a uh, one crash course i'm going to upload other many crash courses as well and my goal is to educate people about blockchain so please 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 subscribe to the channel right now like this video comment it and also follow me on twitter and linkedin and if you have any doubt please reach out to me so let's get started with our video so let's talk about the agenda for this crash course on evm and i've tried ki i know i will uh, i will cover every topic right so first of all we will talk about the history of evm right it's very important for us to understand what was the history of evm who designed it what was the topic behind it what was the you know motive behind it right it's very important for us to know so we will discuss history of evm and then we will also discuss virtual machines okay so what are virtual machines ethereum is a virtual machine so it's very important for us to understand what is a virtual machine how it works and other things as well after that we will be discussing you know what is evm what actually is ethereum virtual machine and then we will also you know discuss ethereum state right because the job of evm is actually to update the ethereum state right that, that's the simple job of evm evm right and we will be discussing how ethereum state works how it gets update every time the evm runs and what happens behind the code right and then we will also go into the evm architecture what is the architecture of evm how it works what components it have and uh, all other stuff as well and then we will be talking about machine space of of evm right so this is a new topic the evm can access and store information in uh, you know multiple places multiple places like like that is around 5 to 6 places so we are going to discuss that as well and then we will also discuss evm op codes like what are operation codes what are byte codes abi and solidity like i'm not going to go deep inside each and every topic op code byte code api and solidity but it's very important for us if i if we are you know learning about evm then it's very important for us to learn how op code works how byte code works what is abi and what is solidity just an overview is very important right so again you know machine machine cannot understand solidity code right so that's why we need all these things op code byte code abi uh, right because machine can't directly understand solidity because it's a high level language right uh, so we will talk about this as well and we will also going to you know take a few example right we will take a real life example we will go through remix we will write a solidity code and we will compile it and we will you know compare the byte code and you know convert our byte code into op codes right which is a good example and you will really understand how your you know code works at a lower level and how it's get turned into op code which is uh, which is executed on the evm right uh, after that we are going to discuss evm working so why i'm not uh, you know discussing evm working in uh, above in the above slides when before before all these things because you know uh, i want to set up a stage for you guys to understand what is happening behind the scenes and what are these small small things machine spaces op code and once you know your, your brain is clear about what is happening we can you know be, you know discuss about how evm is working when you know when we have connected the dots so at the end you know when we connect all the dots we will see evm working uh, and you know i will also take an example there as well and after that the last topic will be turing completeness and the guess like what is turing completeness evm is a turing complete machine is it or is it not is a quasi turing complete machine and we will also discuss gas as well what is gas and why it is required 
what is the need for it right so this is going to be a small crash course on evm hope so i have uh, you know covered everything if i left anything just write down in the comment section if you are still watching this video i guess you are interested pretty much in the course so please like the video and hit the subscribe button as well so let's get started with our first topic that is the history of evm right so you know everyone knows who vitalik is right vitalik uh, vitalik buterin is the founder of ethereum he founded ethereum at the age of 19 around 2013 if i'm if i'm not wrong then again you know uh, at that time only the evm was also designed as well right because evm is the heart of ethereum right ethereum is nothing without of evm right as a human body we don't have anything without our heart right we are nothing without our heart right so similarly EV, ethereum is nothing without evm the evm is the heart of the ethereum so in similar year in 2013 only the evm was designed and uh, you know with vitalik and with gavin wood so most of you know who vitalik is the founder of ethereum but uh, you know people in the outside the industry people don't know who gavin wood is so gavin wood is actually also one of the founder of of uh, ethereum right and he he was the one who designed the evm machine in his tenure right he is also the inventor of solidity language yeah he was the one who created the solidity language and now he is the creator of polka dot and cosmos ecosystem right so i just wanted to discuss who gavin wood is because most of us you know people know vitalik but don't know gavin wood so he was also one of the founder of ethereum and he was the one who designed evm along with vitalik and also created the solidity language right and uh, um, why you must be thinking why i have this bit torrent logo in uh, the slide so you know according to vitalik what he what he says is that uh, bit torrent was actually one of the first dap that was created you know a bit a bit torrent was created by braham coin uh, and it is a file sharing protocol that was invented is around 2001 and despite several efforts to destroy it like bit torrent you must be have been using it to download movies and other stuff as well and despite several efforts efforts from government and other organization to destroy it bit torrent uh, remains very much alive why why because to truly halt or you to truly remove the bit torrent from the internet every computer in every home across the world would have to shut down because you know it's it's a, it's it's something that is decentralized also and it's in every computer right so it's to if you want to truly end or uh, truly destroy the bit torrent then it have to be uh removed from each and every computer from the around the world right which is a very very hard task right so similarly it's it's like a virtual machine as well you can say you know, it's like more like ethereum and uh, it, that's why vitalik said that bit torrent was actually one of the most uh, one of the first dapp that was created it's like a uh, virtual machines unbounded by any physical constraints right so yeah this is all about i guess the history of evm just a small history i wanted to discuss and uh, yeah so let's move on to our uh, next topic as i discussed about virtual machines right so what is virtual machine you know why it is important why we have created this ethereum virtual machine right so virtual machines as you can uh, see in the diagram as well virtual machine is nothing but it's a program that simulates the operation of a computer by isolating its real components and operating system right so basically you know it's 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 an independent machine that is working working on top of your computer so for example you have a computer you have a operating system with uh, os like windows or any other os right you have a mac or any other uh, os and what what will be happened that virtual machine will run as an independent separate machine on top of your computer with different os right so you can do that as well this is like one a short example of uh, virtual machines right so this one physical computer can actually run several virtual computers right so your computer can actually run uh, more and more and more virtual machine maybe two or three depends upon your uh, you know capabilities of your computer what are its programs and memory and all that stuff so your computer can actually run 
separate virtual computers to be precisely uh, you know it we can call it as separate virtual machines right so this is like a simple definition of virtual machine set so now virtual machines can actually differ in their capabilities right every virtual machine will have their own different task and you know they will differ their own capabilities so for example virtual machines such as virtual box right virtual box is a type of uh, app that can uh, you know help you create a virtual machine on top of your hardware and allow you to run uh, any operating system on top of it right so you can download a virtual box on your computer and then you can create a virtual machine basically yet that will create a different os in your computer which you can run and maybe if you have windows you can download the virtual box and then you can create a linux os on your computer as a virtual machine right you can do that right and uh, other other than that there are several other virtual machines as well like java virtual machines which helps to that that is basically a java runtime environment right it can you know run the java code and all stuff we'll not go into the specifics of each and every technology because uh, you know each of them has have its own a set of approaches that is worthy of different video because every virtual machine is different and they have, they have like different motive of that virtual machine however the, these virtual machines have some common features and some criteria for their evolution regardless of uh, what task they are designed to handle so you know every virtual machines have some common features which we can discuss in our next slide so you know as i as i said that virtual machines run in isolation from the other computer components and using you know using only the computation resources like this is different actually from writing and executing native programs that directly work from the computer components right so for example basically you have a windows you have a os suppose windows you have a windows os and you are running any app and running any of the application so that application will actually run on your own computer right and that will use your you know windows uh, computational resources and that will run on it but it's not the case for virtual environment in work for virtual machine like in virtual machine it will have its own you know its its own computational resources and if you're running an application on top on the virtual machine it will uh, you know use the computational resources of that com virtual machine and not of your computer right so this is what uh, you know evm it runs like and you can see it in the diagram as well one more interesting thing to know is basically if you are a developer then you know what you will do is you will write your program in a source code and you will uh, you know compile it into machine code and that machine code is it actually executable by the processor of with a specific architecture so, so for example you you are a developer you build a code that is actually you know running that that is actually a high level language so what will happen is that your high level level code will be compiled down into a machine code and that you know machine code will will be you know not platform independent it will be like platform dependent that that machine code you know it it can only be uh, understand by a particular machine or by particular um, components right and and in the case of virtual machine it's different in in case of virtual machine source code you can see it in the slide as well the source code is actually compiled to the byte codes right and this and this byte code is then compiled to the machine code right so so you know byte code is actually acting as a platform independent thing right because it can actually be executed on any platform using the virtual machine so for example you are writing a source code and then uh, this source code that's in a high level language in, in our case in evm it will be in uh, solidity right right now it's in java so you compile this code and this will generate a byte code actually this byte code can be you know compiled or maybe converted to machine code that is understood by each and every os right so for example there is a windows os there is a linux os right there is a different os and not every you know there is not every uh, machine can understood a, a single machine code every machine has its own architecture every machine has its own specification so you have to you know provide them different machine codes dependent uh, you know depends on their what machine codes they uh, understand right so it's a very big problem that's why we have this byte code this byte code is actually acting as a middleman right so in the virtual machine this is acting as a middleman you just compiled your code in byte code and this byte code gets converted into the machine code of whatever machine you are using and it will be 
easier understood right so that's why we need this byte code because it's 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 a very important right and also and so thanks to byte code because due to byte code only we can create this an isolated uh, universal environment you can say for executing any of the program and without even worrying about its compatibility with uh, the process architecture or uh, whatever the other computer components is you don't have to worry about whether the os is windows whether the os is linux or whether the os is mac you just have to write your code and it will uh, you know if you're using a virtual machine you it will create a isolated basically simple environment universal environment and where you can convert the code in byte code and then uh, you know this byte code get converted into machine code so you don't have to worry about the architecture of a uh, different os you don't have to worry about it so this makes this actually makes the life of developers where life of developers very very easy right so this is all about uh, virtual machines and i hope you understand what are virtual machines now and uh, you can see it in the diagrams as well and uh, we will understand what byte code is especially in the context of solidity and evm so yeah this is all about e virtual machines and if you are still watching i guess please go and write down in the comment section if you are still liking this video and give it a thumbs up as well right